My name is Peston. I live in Cape Town. And also, I do uh, delivery. Interbed helped me to realize my dreams. Now I have my own delivery vehicle and I'm able to do the removal in and around Cape Town. As we step on the gas and move on to race number five, so we're moving on to the latter part of the program, 15-15 over 1,200 meters. And at the early time of recording, number seven, Dark Tide will take no place. So number seven, Dark Tide is a scratching. Seven runners will face the starter. Now an interesting race here because number one, Paka Imali is the only runner to have won in the last seven months or so. So when it comes down to confidence, Paka Imali, he did win on the 1st of November under Richard Faree. He then won, won on the 13th of March under Richard Faree. Absolutely loves the course and distance. Three of his four victories have been achieved on the poly. So he has a very useful CV. He's a four-time winner, the same as number two, Purple Powerhouse, who's a four-time winner and also a poly specialist. Now, when it comes down to riding arrangements, Richard Faree has ridden Paka Imali in most of his runs to date of late, and Atendiwe Mgutwa, I think loyalty, they've kept him on number two, Purple Powerhouse, because he's ridden number two, Purple Powerhouse, in I think three of his last four runs, and he's done absolutely nothing wrong. So when a rider's on a horse and he's doing nothing wrong, sometimes loyalty does pay dividends, and I think this could be one of those cases. When you look at Purple Powerhouse, he is a seven-year-old, whereas Pake Imali is a five-year-old. They're both four-time winners. They both love the course and distance, and I think this could be a Hollywood exactor. Purple Powerhouse, he's had the 43 runs for the four wins, eight seconds, nine thirds, and five fourths. They've drawn one and two. Pake Mali is a horse who can be ridden forward or just from off the speed. Number two, Purple Powerhouse, also quite versatile. Depending on the draw, he's a horse can be ridden up there or he can possess a powerful turn of foot. He's most effective this course and distance and he makes huge winning claims to get that, that confidence back here. And he's had four seconds in his last seven runs or so. Second to Night Warrior, second to Griffin Park, second to Northern Warrior, and then third to Indaka last time out. 1,200 meters, I think this is going to be a tactical run affair with number one, Pake Imali and Richard Faree, and number two, Purple Powerhouse and Atendiwe and Gutwa. So one and two for me, those are the two that are going to fight it out. Then if you're looking for a little bit of value, number three, Granddaddy Purple. Like I mentioned, majority of these horses have not got winning confidence. 510 days since his only victory to date, which did come on the poly track, and I think he's got upset material stamped all over him this division. Number four, Mac Hardy, second run back after a huge rest, so a horse that needs to be considered. And then we move on to number six, Stevie G. It's been 622 days since this individual has tasted victory. But in his defense, he's never too far off the action. And then looking at the rest of the field, they're pretty much boring number five. Another day in Africa, they might just to find that, need to find that length or two extra. So in summarizing race number five, I'm going to slightly stick my neck out with number one, Pake Mali, to beat number two, Purple Powerhouse. And I think this is going to be an intriguing contest. And if you're looking for the upset package, number three, Granddaddy Purple. Good fun days like these are, are great. You get the whole industry together, um, and to have, you know, companies um, and corporations like Interbet and Cape Racing who are uh, so generous with um, sort of time and, um, and energy into into making a day like this possible is uh, it's it's fantastic for everyone.